Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well today we're going to show you how to design individual backgrounds for your menu items up here. So we're going to change this, we're going to color this last menu item right here. So it's going to change from that to this. Really easy to do, we've got to write a bit of CSS code to do this today, but don't let that put you off. Any code that I write, I'll put below the video and you're welcome to use it and change it how you wish. So let's get started. To do this today, I'm going to go to my theme customizer. And to get there, if you don't know how to, go to your dashboard, down to appearance and customize. You can also get there, Divi theme customizer. They're both the same. Once you land there, at the bottom you're going to find additional CSS. This is where we're going to write our CSS code today. Okay, well it doesn't really matter what page we're on here. Um, I guess we'll just take it to the home page. And let's select the item that we want to change. I'm going to do this last one right here today. I'm using Go Google Chrome with the great Chrome Inspector tools. Most browsers have this now, but if yours doesn't, Chrome is a free download. I'm going to right click and hit inspect on that link. And here we are. It's showing us the link here. But if you look at the line above, it's actually got a menu item 230. And that's what distinguishes it from the other menu items. And you can take any of these and style them how you wish. I'm going to grab that last one. So I'm going to say menu item 230, double click on it, highlight that last class there, control C to copy. These are all classes, any items can have multiple classes, but we only need this one right here which identifies it uniquely. As it's a class name we need to put a dot or a period in front of it and paste it in there. Like I say, don't worry too much about copying this in real time. You can if you want to, but I will put it below the video for you to use. Okay, I've just opened and closed some curly brackets and inside we're going to put our code. So let's get back on the link itself, the A tag there. And I need to affect menu item 230 and then the A tag. So I need to put an A after that. So we're targeting the actual link itself. All right, what do we want to do with it? Well, let's give it um, a nice pink background, perhaps this darker pink we've got up here. I've got a little color picker right there, free chrome color picker. Let's copy that color. And the first bit of code I'm going to put in here is background this color. And it's a hex color. So I need to put a hashtag in front of it. There we go. As you can see, it's given that a little pink background. But I don't want it stretching all the way down to the bottom of our nav bar. I just want it to be a sort of oblong behind our link there. So I can change the padding a bit to do that. Now I may have to force some of this because we're overriding styles. So let's say padding. I'm going to give it 10 pixels top and bottom. Let's give it 15 pixels left and right. And let's just make that important so it's going to overwrite the styles. There we go. That's the desired effect I was looking for. A little oblong behind our link there. Semicolon at the end. Always want to put a semicolon at the end of your code here. If you forget to put the semicolon, it won't read the next one. It's okay to leave it off if it's the last of a group, but it's a good practice to just put it after everyone. Now our text, our contact in there, I'd like that to be white. And again, we may have to force that to be white. So let's say color. FFF, which is white. And again, it's not happened. So let's just force it. Semicolon. There we go. Fantastic. And it's already got a bit of a hover effect applied. If you wanted to change things on hover, simply copy this class and the link there. We'll drop down one. I'll paste it in. Right after the A, with no space, I'm going to put a colon, and then no space again, and I'm going to put the word hover. 
Oh, we can set a hover state for it if you want to change it from what's going on there. Uh, just for argument's sake, let's give it a back, black background. Which is zero, zero, zero. And again, we may have to force this if we're over in a style. Nope, that worked fine. Great. So once you're happy with what you've got there, just publish your changes. I'm going to delete this because I really don't want it. I guess I'll leave it so you can use it if you wish. Let's just make sure everything's going to work by going to one of our pages here and refreshing. There we go. That seems fine. And our hover state's working as well. So there is how to decorate an individual menu item using a bit of CSS. Like I say, you can target all of these differently. You can have different colors on each of them if you wish. But that's a great little feature. And it, you know, if you've got one that you particularly want to stand out from the rest, that's a good way of doing it. In our next video, I think I'm going to scoot this menu over here and we'll show you how to push this individual one over to the right hand side so it's away from the other ones. Again that's really easy to do and that's a nice little effect to have on your site. So I hope you've enjoyed that today and found it useful. Like I say I'll put this code down below. Help yourself, use it how you wish. Once again this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com Thanks for watching. Have a great day.